Well, this rig is, is um, going to drill a well, well bore to about 12,000 feet. We'll be on, on here for about 20 days. And once we drill the well, we'll uh, we actually, the, the construction process is we drill to 2,500 feet and set a nine and five eighths inch casing, steel casing string. We put it in the ground and we actually cement it in place. That's designed to protect the groundwater. So we drill to about 2,500 feet, put the casing in the ground, cement it all the way back to surface, which then forms a barrier to protect those groundwaters. At that point, we'll drill a seven and seven, an eight inch hole to 12,000 feet, and then we'll run four and a half inch steel casing in, into the ground, into the bottom of the hole, and cement it into place. This is the basically the driller's console. This is where all the control for the rig, this is where the pipe is, is moved and the actual rig is operated from here. There's a bit on the bottom of this tubing string, or case, uh, drill pipe, right now. And uh, this, is the, this is the new, called an iron roughneck. Roughneck is the term for uh, the uh, the individuals that work on a rig are called roughnecks. Right. So as we drill, we're chewing up the rock with the bit, and it will circulate up. Now they're pulling the slips, and then they'll go back in, and we'll start rotating. The drill, just like a, a household drill, wood wood drill, you know, takes the wooden pieces off, and then the mud actually carries that out of the well. We can go back over here and see the mud system. So this is called a shale shaker. So the fluid drops through and it's just a screen. And that's actually the formation pieces that are coming off the end over here. The rig will release off of this location, go to the next, and then we come back in and do the completion process, which is where we uh, do the hydraulic fracture stimulation, which then unlocks the tight gas sand to flow into the wellbore. When we create enough hydraulic pressure or fluid pressure, the rock will actually part, crack, and we can create a crack. And the idea by hydraulically stimulating is to propagate a fracture wing, a natural fracture, or a, an, art, an induced fracture, that will encounter a large number of the pay sands, the sands that contain the gas. And then we take sand this sand is mined in, uh, in the Great Lakes area, clean, washed, very well sorted. We pump that sand in the fluid so that when we're done with the, creating the induced fracture, that when it, the rock tries to close back, this sand is literally wedged in the rock or propped. It's called propant because it props open that fracture. So we create a large surface area for the gas to flow into this channel. This is not unlike having a super highway coming into a city. If you had all, if everybody had an individual road from their house to downtown, it would be very constrictive flow. But if you have a big interstate or a multi-lane highway, then you can bring in a lot of flow in one channel and ultimately into the well bore. So that's what makes these wells become productive or, or, or in production capacity that becomes ultimately economic.